Hello, good morning. My name is Blair McDonald. Growing up in the Second Baptist family and with the guidance of my parents outside of the church walls, I developed a strong, unwavering dedication to pursue Jesus, working every day to act as his ambassador. Under the care of these support systems, I found it easy to remain steadfast in my faith and my commitment to Jesus Christ. However, in 2018, when I decided to move 2,000 miles away from home and attend Vanderbilt University in Nashville, Tennessee, I was presented with my first true test in life. Away from my church, my parents, and my other friends who were similarly rooted in Christ, I had a decision to make. Continue on my path towards Jesus or succumb to the worldly pressures and temptations that exist within a college environment. I immediately gravitated to on-campus groups such as the Fellowship of Christian Athletes and an all-girl Bible study group, as well as other like-minded individuals to find refuge in a campus filled with people and activities that weren't necessarily trying to serve Christ while in college. With these people, I could live in the culture but not be a part of it while holding fast to God's word. I cherished those moments where I had time to spend with these groups and people, but I knew that as a Christian, I needed to do more than stay within my comfortable group settings, and I felt a call to let my light shine for others who weren't actively seeking out Jesus yet. I began first with my teammates as I was a soccer player at Vanderbilt, where I had the opportunity to meet with and talk to many of my teammates who were struggling with their own battles in life on issues ranging from personal relationships to suicidal thoughts. While they were dejected and hopeless about a given situation, Jesus provided me with the wisdom and discernment to offer them a comforting word and point them towards Jesus. In my first year at Vanderbilt, two soccer players even committed their lives to Christ and were baptized at our annual Easter celebration. From these small moments of ministry, I started to develop a reputation. People often knew not to call on me for certain activities, citing my unwavering Christian values as to why they knew I wouldn't come. I never felt excluded or doubted my position because I knew that my light was shining in those moments. Instead, people would come to me to get dinner, watch a movie, or in more serious situations when they needed someone to talk to. In those moments, I always took that as an opportunity to point them to the Word of God or share with them my favorite sermons that I listened to on my daily walks. I gained a lot of friends in the process, and I lost a few as well. Those who moved away from me, not because of any real issue we had, but because they weren't ready to hear Jesus' message through me. Further, Jesus blessed me with the ability to read and write very well, and I was called upon a number of different times in college to use these gifts in various settings, and my platform grew as a result. After my freshman year, I was presented with an opportunity to write for our school newspaper, The Vanderbilt Hustler. I started as a columnist writing about my experiences as a student athlete at an academically rigorous institution, but after a year, I was offered an editorial position where I had more oversight with the other writers and freedom within my own column. Around the same time, in the spring and summer of 2020, our country witnessed a period of civil unrest as protests broke out to call for an end to police brutality and violence against Black bodies. Feeling empowered by the moment, I decided to use my column to voice my own thoughts on the matter, and specifically how it related to the Vanderbilt community. The article inspired a lot of conversation from those who both supported and criticized my opinion, but in all things, I turned the attention back to Jesus. Many people have commented on or even praised my ability to to write, especially after the article was published, but again, I served as a witness to Jesus and gave him all the glory and praise for providing me with those skills and the platform to say my piece. Beyond campus-wide conversation, that article was instrumental in me later receiving a job offer to an organization that had stumbled upon and read my article. Working for that organization would later become one of the main reasons I decided to pursue a career in law and apply to law school. One of my favorite verses and one I turn to for constant inspiration is from the book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 26. With man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. As a recent college graduate, looking back on my last four years of college, I see how applicable that verse is to my life. Something so ordinary as joining a soccer team or writing for a school newspaper allowed me to not only set a course for the other future accomplishments in my life, but serve as a light in this dark world for other people to follow in their own relationship towards Jesus. In college, I was able to use my identity rooted in Christ to guide others to his word, or at the very least, open their mind to the possibility of one day accepting Christ into their hearts. 
beyond my success athletically and academically. I walk away from Vanderbilt most proud of the impact I had on other people's lives because of the Holy Spirit that lives within me. And in turn, I should shed his light on others as they have, as they too helped reaffirm and strengthen my love for Christ. One of my other favorite pastors, Dr. Charles Stanley, who my family often listens to on TV, laid out a simple, practical way to continue to survive our present culture as a Christian that I would like to share as well. It goes as follows. Read the word carefully. Meditate on the word daily. Study it seriously. Believe it wholeheartedly. Obey it consistently. Apply it personally and share it confidently. If you walk this way, your life will not stay the same and you will continue to walk with Jesus, not in sin. I hope this helps in your own relationship with Christ. Thank you and amen.